Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a hopefully quick video going over some mystery buffs that were just announced for this Tuesday, which is a what, June 28th? So we do get some pretty good just changes to PvP all around. I quickly go through all of them. The Hunter change is that the Craven Stratagen, which is their Fain Death Legendary, was nerfed from 15 seconds to 5 seconds. So this reduced the cooldown of Fain Death. Um, and in combination with the other ability that let them, when they Fain Death, they remove dots and magical effects. Uh, this is a huge nerf to their defensive cooldown. A lot of people are complaining about it. So <clears throat> this is basically a buff to anything with magical effects, which is good. I think Hunters, I mean, the it's pretty it was pretty annoying to play against them as any basically any warlock or like even warriors or Kirin warriors you can just faint it out of it it was really freaking annoying the next changes come to mage flow of time conduit effectiveness effectiveness reduced by 50 percent in pvp so i'm pretty sure this conduit reduced the cooldown of blink and that's just an overall nerf to mages next up netherwind armor uh reduced the chance of suffering critical strike by 10 percent was 15 percent so this is just a talent that makes it so they essentially can't be crit. It, it's actually crazy. Um, it's reduced by 5%, which is kind of nice, but I still think it's going to be a pretty good talent. It's probably going to be one of your go-tos, so I don't know. I guess we'll see about that. Next up, we have the Mist Fever changes. So we got some pretty decent buffs. First, we have Renewing Mist heals for an additional 25% in PvP was 10%, so a 15% buff to Renewing Mist. Uh, I think this is just overall good, mostly because, one, it's going to give us more instant healing. Mist Weavers have a lot of mastery in going into the final season, which I think is at the end of August. It's going to be even more instant healing. So this is going to be great with how much mastery we have. Um, it's a little unfortunate that they just didn't like revert their changes to Canarch Magic because they got it that PvP talent. But overall, uh, this is good. You know, uh, healing is good. It, it's th These changes don't fix the issues that Mistweavers have, but I, I will take more healing. Next up, Enveloping Mist now heals for an additional 10% in PvP combat. Enveloping Mist... Especially in combination with Cloud of Focus, this is a pretty freaking insane buff. Um, I, there's just we're just gonna get a lot of healing. We're just gonna heal a lot, and then Chrysalis now reduced the cooldown of Life Cocoon by 45 seconds, was 30 seconds. So now Life Cocoon is gonna have a minute. 15 second cooldown so chrysalis hands down it's going to be a mandatory pvp talent now um a minute 15 is absolutely insane it, before a minute and a half was a little weird it always felt i mean it felt better than two minutes but it always felt like it just barely wasn't in time but with a minute 15 cooldown life cocoon it's it's actually gonna be unreal um these buffs are pretty good i think that miss weaver i don't know if we're gonna be the best healer but we're going to feel a lot better than what we were. Um, I know that personally healing cleaves can be kind of tough. You know, playing Ret Warrior into like other cleaves or even like TSG. Most because with Cloud of Focus, you have to pick one target and heal them. But now with the Renewing Mist changes, maybe now, you know, if you put Renewing Mist on two people and one person isn't taking the direct damage, it might feel a little bit better. Either way, big healing buffs. Chrysalis is going to be a mandatory PvP talent. These changes don't fix the underlying issues with Mist Weaver, but I think we're still going to. We're going we're gonna to feel better, which is nice. The next changes come to Paladin. So, uh, Templar's Vindication now causes Templar's Verdict to deal an additional 15% damage. Was 30%. So, that's just a 15% nerf to that conduit. Which, you know, I always feel like Red Pallies just have random damage come out of nowhere. Especially when they proc, like, Wings or if they're running uh, Seraphim. So, uh, I don't mind this. I think that their damage is going to take a bit of a hit, though. And then this, this change I love. Oh, my God. Shield of Vengeance damage reduced by 40% in PvP combat. I don't think any defensive should do damage. Imagine if Life Cocoon, like, popped and it did, like... <laughs> <laughs> like 30k damage to everybody around him um absorption amount and change so they keep the defensive like it's fine but the damage is just decreased thank god it, it, it was just getting a little bit i don't know i got hit for like a 45k shield of vengeance i'm like really like does it really need to hit that much and then here are the big nerfs thank you um i don't know if these are gonna be good but we'll see so holy priest their mana regen got reduced by 65 percent was 60 percent so i that, i don't think that's a, too big of a deal i don't really see them really running out of mana too quickly this one holy war chastise now incapacitates enemy players for three seconds was four so now they have a whole less second on their stun and their incap so here sensor the P the talent that makes this stun is now three seconds as well so now I, this is kind of huge because there's so many times where i feel like the priest barely gets to me when like they're slowed after they chastise for fear and i think it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for them to get to us um especially mistweavers just because we're always like playing far away so i'm gonna it's gonna be very interesting now 
I don't. There's no major rogue or mage changes in in these patches, so I think RMP is still gonna be the best. But this, I I like these changes as a misweaver. I really like these changes. Um, mostly again because I play really far away. Uh, Ray of Hope cooldown now 90 seconds was 60 seconds. I I can't believe it was 60 seconds in the first place. But you know now it's 90 seconds. I think it's still gonna be a good cooldown for Holy Priest. Um, but maybe I don't know. I, I don't. I still think you're gonna be running it a lot. So. I don't think that changes that much, but it is nice that it's, you know, now they don't have like three different one minute cooldowns now. Shadow Priest got buffed. The Shadow of Pain in damage was increased by 15%, and then their VT damage increased by 10%. Go Shadow Priest. I One of the comments that people are predicting that's going to be good is Shadow Priest Affliction Warlock, and I'll show you why in a second, why Affliction Warlock is going to be good. But people are predicting that Shadow Play is going to be really insane with Mistweaver. So if you know a good Affliction Warlock or Shadow Priest, Hopefully you've been queuing with them, even though they've been bad. For Outlaw, they did get nerfed. They got their Float Like a Butterfly PvP talent. Now we're just a cooldown evasion and faint by 0.5 seconds per combo point spent was one second. So um, Outlaw Rogues have a passive where every combo point they spend, it reduces, cool the, it reduces the cooldown of most of their abilities. And in their Float Like a Butterfly PvP talent, made it so it also affected evasion and faint so this is a pretty i think this is a pretty good nerf um i've queued into outlaw rogues that literally have evasion every 30 seconds so maybe that gets doubled now to like a minute is this significant i don't think so i think rogues are still they still have the vanish legendary so and they still obviously still have their short blind so i think that outlaw rogues are still going to be insane I don't think this is going to change the meta that much for RMP, especially with these rogue buff nerfs and then these mage nerfs up here. I don't think it's going to change that much. I mean, maybe maybe fire mage's survivability gets reduced a little bit, but I don't think it's going to affect them that much where, you know, it's not going to be meta. Also, none of the Holy Priest healing got reduced, so they're still going to have insane healing. Next up, we have Warlock, and here are the reasons why. Hopefully, you've been playing with your Affliction Warlocks. Uh, first off, we have Dark Pact. That was buffed by 50%, so it now creates a shield based off 300% of the health sacrifice, not 250%. Huge shield there, which is going to be really nice for survivability. Uh, next up, we have Essence Strain. Now causes the target to deal 9% less damage to the Warlock per stack. So every time, this is a PvP talent where when your Warlock uses Drain Life on somebody, they take the target that's affected by Drain Life, deals less damage to you. I think it was 5% before. And now it's 9%, so that's really good. And the Essence Drain now stacks up to four times, so you could stack it up five times. So now, essentially, anytime you drain life, if you're playing this talent, you're going to take 36% less damage if, you know, you get it off, which is really nice. Uh, Gateway Mastery now reduces time between how often players can take them on a gateway by 30 seconds was 15. That is interesting. I don't actually know if that's going to be used a lot, but that is interesting because that's really good versus if, like, Kyrian Warriors were good again, um, you could, like, gate it sooner so that's kind of nice but i don't know if it's gonna be used and then affliction warlock solely she grants absorb shield based on 12 percent of damage dealt in pvp was eight percent so this is just a really good really good buff to affliction warlocks you know their survivability is increased which is nice and now they're also going to be getting uh, some more survivability with these changes so i think overall affliction warlocks this is why people are saying affliction warlock shadow priest mistweaver might be a really good comp mistweavers have really good healing output we're gonna have even more healing output and with life cocoon being able to rotate on a minute 15 cooldown now um you're gonna be able to rotate defensives quite often especially if you're playing with like a shadow priest that's getting trained and then finally we have warriors who they did get some pretty big nerfs i'm so happy right now i i hate fury warriors so much the amount of mash you're getting by conqueror's banner which is the necrolord spell uh, reduced by 33% PvP. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. So this is a huge nerf to Ret Warrior, by the way. Rets have really good um, mastery. It affects their damage a lot. So this is just a nerf to Fury Warriors, a nerf to Ret Warrior. So just in general, Ret Warrior is going to be pretty nerfed right now. And then Crushing Blow, Raging Wolf, Franklin, and Bannon. Now deals 20% less damage in, in PvP combat. It's just so nice. You'll love to see it. Their damage was crazy. I mean, you literally... And then they also could just stick to you, which is even more insane. Like, you couldn't get away from them. So, this is a really, really... I and Personally, I, I like it. I don't really like Q and Threat Warriors. So, um, big, big warrior nerfs here. Maybe arms will be meta now. I don't think so. I think you're probably still going to see Fury Warriors. But um, overall, I, I don't... I like these changes a lot. I think that... They're a step in the right direction. These are PvE changes, so a lot of PvE players aren't happy because Destro just got, like, nerfed to the ground. So, yeah, really good changes to a lot of defensives where pe people who just stay alive. Mistweavers, even though we might not be the best, I think we're still going to be 
pretty good. I think Life Cocoon is the buff is going to be nice with Chrysalis. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to these changes coming through on Tuesday. And, yeah, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.